I'm gonna let this be known now for you Indian motherfuckers. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let y'all know. I like Roman Reigns. I think as a wrestler, he's a good wrestler. Out of the Shield, obviously, he he's the least talented in the Shield. But nonetheless, everybody in the Shield was good. Seth Rollins is great. But he, he's pretty good in the ring. Roman is pretty good in the ring. Roman as a person, he's probably an awesome guy. I'm pretty sure he is. He can wrestle. But the thing is, no matter how you look at it, and at first I used to be like, no matter how you look at it, this is Vince's WWE. No, this is Vince's Raw, and SmackDown is dick slapping the shit out of Raw right now. It is dick slapping the shit out of Raw. First off, I'm gonna say it one more. I'm gonna say it ten more times. I like Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. I'm not lying. No, I like Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. Yo, dog, I like Roman Reigns, homie. I like Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. I like Roman Reigns. I said it that many times, so it's no way you can hit hurt me. I like him. I like the guy. It's a cool, dude. It's the fucking system that's fucking us. Two score years ago. I said score. <laughs> Two years ago. After Romans, you know, come off his injury, okay? After Roman Reigns came off of his injury, he was in the Royal Rumble. Now, mind you, for those who do not know, I'm going to say this before we get anything done. Vince has an erection for guys like this. Well, it's obviously bigger than me. A lot of guys are obviously bigger than me. But twice the size of this, Vince will have a fucking erection on. And Roman is twice the size as this. Roman, he has a, a very muscular build. That's Batista, Bobby Lashley, Triple H, Roman Reigns, be honest, quite frank. There are quite a few, few people that Vince actually liked <coughs> that uh, didn't have a muscular build was um, Shawn Michaels and Dean Ambrose. He didn't like Dean Bryan. He liked what Daniel Bryan was, you know, his cells. He, Vince loved that. But he didn't like Daniel Bryan. And don't try to say, oh, Seth Rollins. No, Seth Rollins, if you see Seth Rollins in person, Seth Rollins is big as shit. There's no no excuse why he can't, I mean, lift Roman Reigns up for powerbomb and do powerlifting moves. Seth Rollins can do it all. Cruiserweight shit, powerlifting shit. Seth Rollins is not a small dude. If you've seen this dude in person, Seth Rollins is not a small fucking dude. He's big as shit. Vince has an infatuation for guys with big muscles. We already know that as wrestling fans. Wrestling fans. Not Roman fans. Wrestling fans. And I like Roman Reigns. I'm not a Roman fan. They're two different things completely. Two completely different things. So... Here's what Vince does. Now, Vince, he, oh, he has a knack for insulting the intelligence of his audience. We got a feel of that once more in the Royal Rumble of 2000, and I believe, 14. When Roman Reigns was in the final three with Big Show and Kane. Now, I don't know about you, but me and Sissy, you know, my brother Sissy was Xbox. We know that, you know, every Royal Rumble, there always like a last six that could be like, oh shit, it could be him or him or him or him or him. I don't know who's it going to be. Who's it going to be? We don't know. We don't know. I think it was 2015 though. But it's like, with that happening, it's like, okay, you keep us on the toes of who's going to run the Royal Rumble. If you, ha if you have Job Show and King Job versus Roman Strong, it, you, you're already insulting our intelligence and the Philly crowd will let them know that. And that look, when people weren't even booing Roman Reigns when he came out. That's I think he was number thirty. Yeah, he was number thirty. Yeah, they they were booing shit out of him because they knew it was about to happen. We was about to get another guy shoved down our throats. We were about to get to be verse Cena. We had to flash. We had to be verse Flash. I call him to be verse Cena because he's actually good in the ring, but he's shitty on the mic. Cena is nice in the mic, shitty in the ring. 
seen his best match was with AJ Styles, and it's only because he was going up against AJ Styles. Let's be, be honest now. So you have Roman beat these two guys, gets hard. We Philadelphia mauled this nigga. We killed him. And he was so not over that when The Rock came out, we said, oh, you with him, Rock? Boo. Boo you too. That's how bad it was. And you see, go back and look at that footage and see the expression on The Rock's face as he's like, oh shit. Yeah, oh shit is correct. And still to this day, they try to put some message. The top baby face. They still, still try to. So, within the course of span of five months, first off, we have Roman matches to where there's, you know, Cena 2.0 matches. He gets to ask the whole match and wins. Or... An interference happens in this match, and he loses, so it's an excuse that he lost. Because he can never lose clean. No, no, no. Or, it, it gets interfered, and he still wins, so he go look strong. Look strong, Roman, goddammit. That's Vince's voice every time Roman is in a match. And we, we suffered that for two years. We still suffer it. Because yesterday's pay-per-view, Raw, we suffered it, too. We suffered it. Suffering said one. Gotta be Roman Strong. Roman Strong, all the time. So with the fucking span of five months, this dude won the WWE Championship three times, and I'm tired of reading comments be like, Roman has worked hard. He's been uh what, 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 what's the word that they use? They use um he's been cheated, he's been um cheated or what, what's the word they use? Cheated and what else? It's another word. What else do they use? Cheated and. Huh, I can't even figure out the, the fucking word. Oh, uh, yeah, what probably was cheated? He's been cheated at uh, all these t uh, opportunities, and it's like, yo, there are WWE superstars who will cut their left arm off just to hold the WWE title for one second and to spend the five. Months. This dude had it three times. He was so not over that they had Sheamus win the belt and then have him beat Sheamus for it. And then in the match after he won the title, they chanted, "You still suck." We let Vince know time and time again. No. This is not how you do it. We're not mad that he tried to make Roman the guy. He does that with... Ah, oh, shit. He does that with... You know, super, he does that. It's how he puts people over. We mad at how he tried to do it. So blatant and disrespectful and quite frankly insulting our intelligence. Then he goes a mile further. Where he goes out there with his fucking sleeveless shirt. 70 year old fucking bitch. With a hard on strap on for Roman Reigns. And basically tries to pull an Austin angle on us. That like he's a big, bad Mr. McMahon. And, you know, Roman to Austin. And Roman's trying to get opportunities. And Vince trying to screw him. And then he got cheered. We like, no, we know what you're trying to do. Now we're going to cheer you and boo him even harder. Just because you tried to assault our intelligence again. So, after, you know, Roman loses the title, by the way. Roman would have won it anyway, whether Seth got injured or not. He was scheduled to uh, beat him at that Survivor Series that year, but Seth had got injured. Okay? So, after, you know, he loses the title um, to Seth Rollins when he comes back. You know, the world champ. The best wrestler in the world right now. Period. Period. Second one probably be AJ Styles. Third one, Sisuke. But, um, after Seth wins. Now, we already know Roman was already going to be booked to win it back. But, this time, Roman saves us. He takes those those Adderalls. Gets suspended for 30 days. Now, mind you, I'm not trying to hear anything. He has been working WWE for a couple of years. He knows what's against the rules. He knows what's not. They remind him every time. They remind all the superstars every time. If they didn't remind him, it would be a lot more superstars on Adderall or some other shit like that and got suspended. Roman knows the rules. They spoon fed this dude for a year and a half at that time. And he pulled some shit like that. Disrespecting the fans even more. Because you already didn't want you. But now as a person, you decide to fuck up. And I still like him as a person. 
I still say that, and I said like my first people make mistakes. You know that wasn't a mistake, but I'm willing to forgive them for it. I mean, it's just that you jawed. They they spoon fed you everything, and you still jawed. So he loses the title because of that. You know, doesn't uh, win it in the uh, triple threat match. Okay. Now mind you, he's being punished for biting the hand that fed him. That's what they want you to believe. He's not being punished. He's just not in the main title picture. He was still the main event of Raw for like six Raw straight. And him being punished, it's kind of like Barry Allen. It, it altered the timeline because he would have still probably been champion. It altered the timeline. And now he's United States champion. Now, put yourself in Rusev's shoes. I bring in prestige to this belt. Whooping everybody's ass. I love Rusev as a uh, United States champion. He's a great heel. A great heel. And puts out every fucking one with the accolade up until this time besides Cena. Besides Cena. Cena's the one that got out of the accolade. Everybody else had suffered from it. They didn't. Nobody did it. Only Cena at WrestleMania. Yo, Rusev. Put yourself in his shoes. Man, I'm doing good. I'm on the road. This title is making me more money, getting me more sales. I'm doing good for myself. I just got married to a smoking hot wife. I'm living a good life. Oh, yeah, man, my good buddy, Roman. Ah, oh, man, he's fell the drug test, man. Oh, yeah, he's not the main title pitch no more. It sucks. Huh? Vince? Oh. Oh, he's coming down to take my title. That, that's not a part of the storyline. He didn't do anything to earn a shot in the first place, which he didn't. He did not. He wasn't the number one contender match. Oh, he just takes my title just because you want to slap him on the wrist? What, Vince? Um, but he's taking my title. The United States belt is a big belt. It was the only belt on Raw for like the first couple of weeks when we did the brand split. This is the important belt. Let's have Roman take it. Give him a nice belt. And you guess what happened last year? When Cena... <gasps> what? You talking about Roman's predecessor? <gasps> Beat Rusev for the United States? <gasps> and defended it every week? <gasps> and they try to act like, oh, we finally just getting prestige? No. People say the superstar makes the belt. Nah, man. The belt makes that superstar. You can book these stars any way. Anybody could have booked uh, the way Cena was booked when he had the title. Just defend it every week. It has to already defend every week. Yeah, anybody do that. But only because of Cena, they did it. And then with Roman, they're probably going to do the same thing or something similar or even something better to where he defends it any time, any place like the hardcore title. And then y'all gonna claim it has prestige again. Just to pit Roman over. Just to put him over. Rusev is doing a damn good job. And I know he doesn't like what happened to him. Because it's due to an accident. Since this guy takes drugs, he can't be get this title. Whoa, but well, we still gonna have a title on him. That, that's how Vince is. And he sends him and takes it from Rusev. What does Rusev have now? Not to mention... Roman kicks out at two, just like Cena, 50,000 times per match. I can't, I just can't take it, man. I just can't take it anymore. And then on top of that, you got to have Roman look like Superman again. Have Lana interfere so Roman overcomes and looks strong again. It's like, dude, you're going to have a win. The spit in our face and have a win already. Don't take a shit on our cereal as well. Don't do that as well. They're trying the same angle they did with Cena, and it's so blatant. It's like, dude, like he's they literally beat the same guy for the same title. Like, Vince, we're not idiots. I don't. He hasn't earned a shot. People say, yeah, Seth Rollins has been getting the WWE Universe titles, and I agree with y'all. He been getting uh, those title matches. He lost those title matches, but he just he has been giving you know, them handed to him. But I'm gonna tell you the one difference. One. We actually want Seth Rollins. We want him. We never asked for Roman. I don't know. I don't know who who asking for this dude. Besides the Indian fans, I know you guys asking for him because he's been shoved down y'all throats. And y'all, y'all, oh man, Indian fans and kayfabe. I don't mean mean disrespect some of the Indians. Yes, he has some sense, but as I scroll through on Facebook, dog, it is unbelievable. And it be I understand if kids like him. Okay, whatever, kid. But the kids. 
But it's like grown ass men, grown ass women. A lot of women love Roman friends because they think he's a nice looking guy. Whatever. Grown ass men, though. Those boos you hear in the crowd are deep. It already gotten worse to where they would edit chairs in for the dude. And then people pay for the shows for outrage. Like, wait, I was here. This didn't happen. WrestleMania, they're silencing boos. It's like, you, you can't do it. You can't silence people who are giving their money to your company. You can't do that. Editing chairs and booze, the guy sucks at promos. He's good in the ring, sucks at promos. Really bad at promos. And it's like, if y'all believe this is what it takes, you know, to still make a good superstar, he doesn't have to be, you know, um, good on promos. Dude, what the fuck is with Cesaro? Y'all could do the same thing y'all did with him with Roman. Because we didn't ask Roman, y'all forced him. You give any of these dudes uh, the W Championship, we take them seriously. No matter how much we like them or dislike them, I take Roman seriously because he won his title. We took Sheamus seriously when he first came in because he won his title. We took Alberto Del Rio seriously when he first came in because he won his title. He was a main threat. No matter how we like him or not, he was the guy. The guy. He got the title. We got to look at him now. We don't have to like him. But Roman is like, no. You're trying to use this certain angle that we've seen 10,000 times with John Cena already. And then you try to pull an Austin angle, which made you look so stupid in that tight-ass respiratory shirt, and we cheered you and booed him. Then you try to edit in... Booze in and cheers in. Then you get this dude the title three different times. Then you have matches with him and AJ where he's literally, you know, getting his ass whooped. Does one spear, kiss out of five of AJ's finishers, and he survives. One spear finishes AJ. The matches are boring. The promos are boring. The wrestling is cool. I like his wrestling. He, as a character, the writers are what's ruining him. And people say, oh, yeah, Roman's finally getting chairs last night when he won. So, y'all just going to ignore that they edit chairs because people on the, who watch the show commenting uh, on these threads I'm reading saying, no, we didn't chair this dude. When that yay boo situation happened with the punches, Roman was getting booed. Rusev literally talked shit about America, and he's getting cheered over Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens is a heel. Get cheered over Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins, I don't know, he's a tweener. Gets cheered over Roman Reigns. Even if he was a heel, gets cheered over Roman Reigns. Wanna know why? Because Seth Rollins is the best wrestler in the world. The shit he does is fucking amazing. Charlotte, she gets booze, but you still hear cheers because we appreciate her job as a heel. She's a heel. Roman, babyface, booed out the fucking building every time he walks in one. Two years, Vince, we've been telling you. No. 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 But since you have an infatuation with big old muscular guys, our opinions don't matter to you. And we already know Raw is your show. We all know Vince is going for Raw because Roman was on there. And this is why SmackDown is beating the living shit out of Raw. If shit continues to move this way, I will drop Raw all, all in one. I'll drop it all in one. People say, you know, we're happy he got it because, you know, it keeps it from the main title. That, what? Cena had the United States. That didn't keep him, keep him away from the main title picture. He forced Seth. Five times since he won the U.S. title. He lost Seth once, whooped his ass four times because he's Super Cena. And then we had Super Roman. Now, SmackDown can easily take, you know, a down step because my biggest nightmare is having Roman champion of Raw and John Cena champion of SmackDown. If that happened, then Raw has truly lied to us and we have entered the dark ages of wrestling. But that's my take on Roman Reigns. As I said, I like him. I just hate the way he's booked. And now they try to make make you know us chair for him. It's not gonna work now. Vince already ruined that from the get go with that Royal Rumble. And then he continued to go down from, from there. You was already at the bottom and you thinking, oh, he can only go up from here. No. Vince, you know, so he surprises us every single time. Every time we get surprised for some bullshit. And this is why Roman would never truly be over as a baby face. It's never gonna happen now. It's over. No matter what you do, this will never happen. Ever ever happen it's not gonna happen Vince you ruined it you know you turn him here okay I'm going to do that but stop insulting my intelligence stop insulting WWE fans intelligence <clears throat> most of all stop insulting wrestling fans intelligence we do not want Roman we wanted Rusev last night and you screwed that up Mazaku thank you guys for watching this video like comment subscribe
and I'm out. More WWE videos coming soon as far as top five wrestlers, etc. So stay tuned and watch. To add some extra shit. Apparently this fucking motherfucker is defending the US title right away tonight. Now Vince finds himself in certain situations where he's put in the corner, okay? Either Roman loses and last night was literally for no reason. And it's like you just had him win just so despite of having him win that pay-per-view when Rusev didn't need to lose in the first place. And to have him win going over a strong as shit. That's he always fucking does. But interference is still overcoming. Even if he does lose, it's like it's back to the fucking Hogan era with this bullshit. Seth say he wins tonight. Cause I know world's on right now. Let's say he wins tonight in this uh fucking uh defense. And then he has another defense next week. It's just the same shit they rebooting with fucking Cena. It's just a two point though, man. I'm, I'm done with this shit, man. Book this man right. Have him disappear for a while when you ha you, you know, have to. You know he can't. You know, got a contract. He has to work for his money. This thing you got, him being the same fucking character as he was in the shield with that same music, and Vince trying to, to uh, portray that he was the shield, because that's the only reason why he didn't take any pins while he was in the shield. It, it's just. It, uh, Vince got to just take his dick out of Roman's ass. And just like, I don't know. Just, just keep fucking Cena. Just, I don't want to see John Cena champion of SmackDown, the Roman champion of Raw. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, But, uh, I don't know. It seems like he's trying to reboot this whole Cena US title thing. And then try to claim it for Jesus again. But it's like, dude, you can literally book anyone the way you booked Cena. The fucking Vince McMahon. You want this guy or whoever your US champion to defend the title every week. Have him defend it every week. Just have him do that. This is why Alberto the Rio didn't go over as strong. When he won it, he hardly even defended it. You got shit on him and you lied to him. Therefore, he left your company. But yet, you're going to suck Roman off when Alberto is 10 times better wrestler than Roman. Roman's a good wrestler. But Alberto's just simply better. Hands down. Hands down. And a better character. He's established. But you guys disrespect him. You guys be racist to him. All because of Roman's background. And then it's funny. He's not even directly related to The Rock at all. They don't have the same blood at all. They both Samoan. That's it. It's like a branch off the family. But as far as blood wise, they're not related at all. That shit goes, you know, with marriage and shit. But, you know, Roman might you know, win tonight because Roman is always strong. Then next week, he defended like Cena. Week after that. And, you know, he might even be the main event of Monday Night Raw for a couple of weeks. This is Vince Wade sneaking him back in the main title picture. Because, look, he's already the man. He's still in the main events. Ain't shit changed. But. Zaku, just a little extra thoughts. Sorry, Walmart and shit working and shit. But peace out, guys.